Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. In uh, today's video we are going to turn the information, the analysis into a trading setup. And uh, I'm going to attempt I'm going to attempt that and trying to do that in front of you here. And we are going to go and observe uh, gold. I made a call earlier uh, this week uh, that we are going to be bullish on gold and we are going to transform that information right now uh, to some practical objective analysis actually trading setup right so before we head on to that if you want to support me come join me on Elliot on patreon.com forward slash Elliot wave green here I'm providing weekly analysis of gold and silver along with the uh, dollar index basket currencies so this is only small small amount of fees that I'm charging uh, which is twenty nine dollars per month I initially I was going to for actually two hundred dollars per month but then I decreased it just for twenty nine dollars USD per month and it's if you're trading Forex and if you want some uh, really valuable information then believe me it's just peanuts so let's bet get back to our analysis and see what's happening first of all in my previous video I gave um, an analysis and you can look back on YouTube and see what's actually happening uh, long term now that we have information that we are bullish, bullish on uh, gold so I'm trying to transform that information to a trading setup and see where the prices are heading first of all when you look at the chart uh, first of all we have seen the bro this trend is broken right now and we can actually uh, say that by looking at simply uh, the uh, the the support zone uh, the resistance zone is broken right now it got retested as well and uh, we can look at it uh, right over here okay so if you guys want you can actually turn that into a ending diagonal or a whatever suits you guys the basic point is if you draw a support line covering this whole price action from top to bottom is now broken and it's got retested this is on a 15 minute chart right now we can see that the price went on came back went up and then this area is now getting retested so as far as Elliott wave analysis is concerned before we head on to Elliott wave analysis let's have a look what's what are we heading at it so since we're looking at this whole price action we can see that the uh, the power that was actually bringing this down is has been actually taken over by the bullish trend the initial step has already happened what is the next resistance that we are covering apart from this whole trend and this becomes to brings us to the horizontal resistance right over here so this is the next resistance now if you look at the 15 minute chart uh, one thing happens once happen is that price hits the resistance comes back stay in this area this is very very important uh, area not a lot of many people use it in technical analysis so sometime what happens is that price goes hits back and comes all the way down but when it has to go up and then this is classic behavior that it finds the resistance comes back stays within the, within the area and then it finds the support in a lower area for example here you guys can see the support came in this particular correction structure right over here so the point is here that the prices went on and then retested it so the next target is right now this one uh, I believe there are a couple of things are possible first of all that we can actually see the prices to head on all the way over there all right and then they'll bounce off and then we'll see some kind of support coming in from the previous structure which is right around this one okay so if I draw this right over here and this will bring it to the 50 around 50 ish person all right give me a moment so you can from this bottom to the top we can uh, draw that and we can see that the 50 percent is also coming in action as well so you can use 50 percent or this line both are really useful the initial and one other thing is possible that sometimes the prices does not actually stop at the resistance level in that case it just happens like this and it will actually fall back right over here and it will do that okay both things are possible if we see that the prices are being resisted in this area this is my own personal um, style uh, when as soon as price is gonna hit in this area I'll look at the price section and then I'll try to actually close uh, the market and then I'll wait for the price section to tell me what's actually happening but it can actually simply cross that to both things are expected right now 
and we actually when the market is alive we look at these things on at that moment let's have a look at the Elliott wave analysis what is the Elliott wave analysis telling us okay so we can see this as wave one and this as wave two assuming that this did not go actually beyond that this as wave three this as wave four and we can easily say at this as wave five and that will be stopped but things are not like that normally one of the waves is extended and in this case we can see wave one is not extended wave three is not extended so that gives us wave five so it means we'll consider this as wave one and two and three and four and five so we can consider the five right over here in this top once again this five can actually go easily all the way over there and the important thing is that when wave 5 is extended then what happens a sharper reaction is uh, expected right so let's say in this case the resistance comes over and wave 5 is extended then normally a sharper action comes over in the wave 2 ish area and here this is wave 1 and wave 2 so this is more likely that we are gonna see prices maybe falling all the way back to this area when it hits the target right over here let's have a look uh, I want to draw another five wave structure within it it's a smaller wave one and smaller two and smaller three and smaller four and smaller five okay let me change the labeling of it parameters and intermediate and which is smaller than minor okay there you go so these in the smaller one two and three four and five especially three four and five are just for guidance but we can see that have we, we got the information where we can actually analyze that the trend is going upward uh, the support and resistance is acting really good together we have Elliott wave analysis coming to us giving us uh, the resistance the traditional resistance studies is giving us a target area as well we can also see that then the price is right over here we should avoid to join the trend if we can if we do not decide to join the trend this one then that's okay but especially when the prices are right over here it will be worst time to join the trend when the prices actually just get in this area at that time we should give it plenty of time there is a possibility that prices actually can go through it but in case prices do not go through it and then the immediate support comes right over here which is pretty deep right now giving us this is the fifth wave and it's an extended wave so we have wave one two three and four and then five so let's say fifty percent does not come into contact and the next person i want to see where exactly it is so we can see that this next one is sixty two point five so we can actually bring that in mind that there's a possibility that sixty two point five uh... percent retracement will be of uh, in in the in the horizon once prices is hit in here right now since we are assuming this one so I wanna uh, I want to uh, not make any mistakes I want to be trading this successfully so in this case I want to join right over here I myself personally already am in the trade but if I want to join the trend right over here I'll put my stop loss right over here and then I'll wait for the prices to move on in case I do not I, I want to add on to my position I'll wait for the price of this top to be broken and I'll add on to it and when I add on to it for that particular small that should be small trade and that particular small trade price should be right over here it should be not a full uh, degree or a full scale uh, trade just a minimal let's say you are trading one ounce uh, so I mean a hundred ounce of gold in that case you might want to add another ten ounces so it should be a small trade theoretically similarly when we have one two and three and four in place and you want to add another something to into your previous positions then similarly you can add another on to it and then you can put your stop loss at the end of wave two so this is the proper way the main thing is giving us uh, the the study is telling us that we should avoid getting into the trade in this area wish you good luck with your trading and if you want to join me come join me on patreon.com forward slash elliot wave green wish you good luck with your trading have a good one bye bye